one. Okay, we're talking about today how to put a back brace on. Um, this is your standard back brace. Um, not to be confused with the trochanter belt. They have similar actions, but that's a little thinner. And it goes over top of the greater trochanter. To find where to put the back brace, um, the patient will put their foot out like this and do this, and you can feel the little bones stick out. Um, but on him, that's right there. But this goes just above that. So the first thing you do, um, if you're using this type, the apple will go up. And you have to loosen these secondary stays. So either just let them dangle or just put them on the very loosest position. Um, if they're like this, you're not going to be able to pull it tight. So you have to loosen the secondary stays first. All right, so you come around. And I always have the patient hold, uh, Joel, can you hold that? Good, hold that. And I just make sure it's lined up. Good. <clears throat> if there's about a six inches, uh, six inch gap, um, that's a pretty decent gap. Um, you know you're, we're in the right size range. If we had a large, these would probably be touching and we wouldn't be able to get it very tight. So Joel, um, ah, tighten your, tighten this. Yep, good, like you're being punched, ready? Put that on. And then, if a person has a lot of back pain, you're gonna wanna have them tighten their stomach like they're being punched. Joel, like I'm punching you. <laughs> tight, 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 that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, tight, tight. And then we tighten the secondary straps up. All right, turn around, Joel. This is especially useful uh, for, for back pain in general, but also if the pain is off to one side or the other. So if they have sacroiliac pain, uh, this is a very effective bracing method for that. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Joel. All right. All right, man. Go work out.